programming language should you learn first? This is a question with several correct answers, depending on what you want to do with your code and uh, what kinds of programs you want to build. There's software everywhere. Software is running your thermostat, your car, or the train that you take to work every morning, um, and the browser that you're using to watch this video. In this video, we're going to cover uh, just a few areas of development that you might want to get into. Front-end and back-end web development, which power websites, mobile development that powers uh, mobile apps, and then games, so Windows, OS X, whatever platform you're on. Let's start with uh, what's right in front of you, the code that's powering websites. Of all the different types of coding, front-end web development is one of the easiest to get into. You can ramp up from little to no technical knowledge and build websites from HTML and CSS, just those two languages. The front end is basically everything that happens in the browser. HTML is the backbone of a web page. It lets you distinguish paragraphs and headers, show images, and create interactive elements like forms and buttons. CSS is a styling layer that works with HTML, so it creates uh, the layouts, the fonts, topography, um, any kind of color or animation that you need to add. Although HTML and CSS are not generic programming languages the way that the other languages are in this video, um, HTML and CSS are still a great place to start learning to code. You will learn a lot about syntax and in general start thinking like a programmer uh, once you start working with HTML and CSS. For building actual functionality, your only choice of programming on the front end is JavaScript. It lets you handle user input, uh, it lets you pull in data from the server, and really do anything that a browser can do. An informal survey of Thinkful's 300 strong mentor team uh, overwhelmingly says that JavaScript is the language you should learn first. Browsers get HTML and other data from computers called servers. The server is often referred to as the backend, and there are many more options for coding them. Almost any language, any programming language, can power a server. So uh, which one do you learn first? For small to medium-sized businesses and working with um, startups, you probably want one of the more popular dynamic languages, and that's JavaScript, Ruby, and Python. Their code is terse, and they're all optimized for programmer happiness. Um, they all have a lot of open source libraries you can use to uh, power the code that you write. Uh, so you, you're basically standing on the shoulders of giants. Um, these were the top three languages in our survey, and uh, even though they lack a little bit of raw speed, uh, they're really good for uh, developing the back ends of websites. If you're looking to build your first server, look no further than JavaScript, Ruby, or Python. PHP deserves a mention here. Um, it powers WordPress, which is a popular content management system, so like a blog. Uh, it's also a dynamic, popular language. Um, it's great if you're looking to work solo or with small freelancing teams, building uh, websites for publishers or for small businesses. However, if you have no specific interest in this area, uh, it's probably best to start off with Python or Ruby and jump into PHP if you have to work on it for a project. Um, there's similar languages, so you can pick up PHP after learning one of the others first. If you're looking to join an older, larger company, they're likely going to be using a static language for many of their projects. Um, so that's a language like Java or C Sharp. These languages perform better at a large scale they make sense for companies with hundreds or thousands of employees or servers. Uh, there are plenty of jobs to be found, and uh, there's definitely lots to learn from those languages. So they're not a bad choice 
for learning, but there is a caveat. Established corporations are less likely to hire someone without a computer science degree. So if you start out with C Sharp or Java, you're gonna need a lot, of, a lot of extra grit and maybe some extracurricular activities to uh, really get your foot in the door. Uh, mobile and gaming are some other fields to consider. They rely on some of the same backend technologies as websites, um, but are rarely built in the browser. So uh, which language should you learn? You should learn varies by platform. To get into mobile development, you should look into iOS and Swift or uh, Android and Java. For game development, you might want to start and learn programming in a game-specific environment such as Game Maker or uh, libraries like Python's Pygame. But eventually, you'll probably want to learn C Sharp and use the popular uh, engine Unity 3D. Um, blockbuster games like Halo or Doom uh, are often built on lower level languages like C and C++. Game development and graphics are quite challenging compared to some of the other areas of programming uh, since complex rendering in a 60th of a second uh, requires hard math and just very, very fast code. Well, that's it. If you decided that coding is for you, those are the languages that you should learn. For web development, it's HTML and CSS and then JavaScript. Uh, for backend web development, you want to learn Ruby or Python um, or double down on JavaScript. For mobile, you, your options are Swift for iOS or Java for Android. If you're looking to get into game development, you should try learning C Sharp and using the Unity 3D engine. Larger companies tend to build more stuff in the static languages like Java, C Sharp, C++, but getting your foot in the door might be a little more difficult if you don't have a computer science degree. That's it. Woo! Hey, thanks for watching our first video. If you liked it, subscribe, and let us know what you think. Do you like more videos for coding beginners? Do you want tutorials on something specific? Um, do you want career advice? We can do all that and more. Uh, really, we're here looking for your input. So put stuff in the comments and we'll reply. Thank you very much. Have a good day.